Welcome to Trivia Viral. Our channel covers all the latest analysis and recaps on TV shows and movies as well as interesting stories and facts that you may not have known. So sit back, relax, and subscribe to our channel if you have been enjoying our videos so far. On Christmas Eve in an unnamed suburbia, 17-year-old woman is busy babysitting the precocious 12-year-old boy. He has romantic feelings for his maid and attempts unsuccessfully to seduce her while watching a horror movie. Strange happenings outside put his maid on edge, but it ultimately appears to be just his best friend who has stopped by to hang out. Hearing a window break upstairs, the trio find a brick inscribed with you leave and you die. His best friend panics and runs out the back door. This video is sponsored by QD. QD is Asia's largest platform for students, tutors, and coaches to find and book lessons online or offline, all from a single platform. Sign up at QD today, but is apparently killed by an unknown shooter. Shocked, the maid and he run upstairs and hide in the attic. The maid almost breaks her neck from a fall but he catches her. After they run into his room and hide in his closet, a masked intruder armed with a shotgun walks into the room. The girl recognizes the mask as one of his and yanks it off the intruder, revealing Garrett. The girl realizes that he was planning to further seduce her by scaring her. Angered, the girl slanders him, calling him mental and saying he needs therapy, and tries to leave. While at the top of the stairs, he slaps her with his gun, causing her fall down the stairs and be knocked unconscious. He binds the girl with duct tape, then forces her to play truth or dare. A little later, the girl's boyfriend arrives at the house after receiving a text message sent by the girl earlier. When the girl's boyfriend fails to find the girl, he realizes that something is wrong. Luke tries to knock him out, but fails. After nearly killing him, the girl's boyfriend is threatened by the best friend with a shotgun. He knocks him out, and they tie him up beside the girl. While the girl uses a shard of glass to cut her binds, he tries to show the best friend what happens if you actually hit someone in the head with a swinging paint can similar to the scene from Home Alone. He tries to demonstrate with the girl's boyfriend, but misses on the first swing. The girl gets free and threatens him with a pistol. He drops the paint can and kills the girl's boyfriend. When the girl realizes the gun is unloaded, she tries to escape to a group of carolers outside. He uses the brick tossed through the upstairs window to knock her out again before she can alert them. After tying up the girl again, he calls the girl's ex-boyfriend to come over to the house, claiming that she wants him to write an apology letter. While Jeremy does so, he hangs him from a tree, making the apology look like a suicide note. He kills the best friend for trying to free the girl. He then stabs the girl in the neck and stages the scene to frame him for the killings. Later, he goes to bed and waits for the return of his parents, who contact the police when they find the bodies. It is then revealed that the girl stuck duct tape over the stab wound to stop the bleeding. He watches from his bedroom window as the girl gives him the finger before being wheeled into the ambulance, thus making a lucky escape. What are your thoughts about this story? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos and give us a thumbs up to get more recommendations of our videos. Be the first to watch the latest videos by clicking the bell icon. See you on the next video.